Hi, welcome to Talking Tech CES 2024. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and we are here at Lenovo to check out all that's new with Intel Core Ultra. Joining me today is Carrington from Lenovo. Thanks so much for joining Talking Tech. Absolutely, yeah. Marcus. Let's get right in. What's new with Intel Core Ultra, codenamed yeah. Meteor Lake? Yep, absolutely. So this is our brand new X1 2-in-1. This is a complete redesign and we've done a fantastic uh, job this year. We added a, what we call communication bar. So it gave us the opportunity to give a really nice one finger. One finger lift. One finger lift yeah, to the screen. Yeah. And we have an eight megapixel camera we can go up to offering. So we have FHD and we also have an eight megapixel camera. That's a so significant upgrade. Eight, eight megapixels, eight megapixels. Okay. Really gave us the opportunity to stretch our screen to body ratio. We're at a 90% screen to body ratio with X1 2-in-1 and, and also with X1 Carbon. Um, so bumping that out, sensors are large, you know, you have to have that dedicated space up there. So that gave us that opportunity. Um, looking down as we redesign the product, we also now offer a force pad. This is a haptic force pad, but for the track point lovers like myself, who yeah. I really, one of the few out there maybe. I, the, the iconic nub is it's iconic. And it's the option to use that or the track yes. I love it. So we have the three buttons still at the top dedicated. So you can actually turn them on or off in software. So you can either have the full larger oh, okay. haptic force pad or you can still have a large force pad, a haptic, and also still get those three buttons. Uh, when we did that, we did have to look at the redesign of the pen. The pen is a feature that we have our customers always ask for in our two-in-one devices. So we weren't able to have a garage anymore with the structure, internal mechanicals. So but we, that looks bigger. I have an older model that has a yeah. garage pen, which is handy to keep it in there. Right. But it's kind of small. I probably it don't is. use it very much. That right. looks and you like probably a, didn't know maybe it was there even, oh, yeah, which is yeah. part of the yeah. discovery issue. So we redesigned it, made it a larger pen. Now it recharges, rapid charges, type C. So it's super, super cool. easy and it can magnetically attach to either the B or the C, really, really super easy. So it has that function, that capability is really easy. And something really cool, when you shut the lid, the pen will oh, bounce down. It, it just jumps down like that. It jumps down to the stronger magnet. So when you're carrying it and you're putting it in your bag, and that thing is hard to come off. It's got a good okay. strong magnet on that bottom. So also, when we were looking at the redesign of the product, we understood that you know, we really wanted to optimize the performance of these two products for Intel Core Ultra. So our team did a fantastic job of redesigning the whole cooling structure of X1 2-in-1 and also X1 Carbon. So we went with a dual fan design and it gave us the opportunity to increase our cooling capacity quite heavily. So last generation, for the past two generations actually, we had a dual fan structure. We had, the, we had the intakes coming in and air had to go over a lot of space, a lot of hot space. So it really wasn't as good of a structure as we thought it would be when we were designing it. Um, and this was, it, we had a lot of heat issues, we had a lot of hot zones. So when we were looking to redesign, we went with a new dual fan structure. We have, okay. we have cooling coming in through here, exhaust out through here. This offered us roughly about a 42% better cooling capacity. We were able to even get larger fans over both sides. And then that also kept this a lot cooler. So we don't see those huge spikes that you get with the heat and then the cool and the heat and the cool. We're able to keep a much more even temperature. And that also meant we were able to get better performance with Intel Core Ultra. So they, that processor is working more efficiently. It's staying in a cooler temperature. So we're really able to also push the TDP up to 25 TDP from 20. That's so fantastic. Oh man, that's innovation that we did co, co with uh, Intel. So it was really, really great because it was able to get our users to push these products harder because they want to, they want to get that best performance out of it. And then battery life also, we are able to go and have a 57 watt hour battery. And so that with Core Ultra, we're also even able to get better battery life as well with their efficiency and the tile structure. It really gave us the opportunity to just push things as hard as we can with Intel Core Ultra. Yeah, I could really help. I, I a can lot. barely contain my excitement because I love it when we get to see the insides, especially yeah. when you know uh, some people can say that the cooling is better, but you be prepared Show. here Absolutely. to, to yeah. see the inside. And of course, there's a double benefit: not only the engineering on the cooling on the thermal side, but actually in the silicon itself. Yeah, with Intel Core Ultra Meteor Lake. Uh, moving to a new process node with Intel 4, and, and of course, you know, the new efficiency gains. We're yes. getting a better, more efficient cooling chip with even better cooling. Better cooling and also the overall, the, the structure, the tile structure of uh, uh, Core Ultra is really fantastic because you're able, 
with, I, with the ISV backend, all the coding that they're doing, they're able to just route all those processes to those sub tiles, and it really just creates so much more of an efficiently working processor. So we're excited about that. Um, well, I did want to step over to Exxon Carbon because Exxon Carbon is so light, 2.4 pound feel that. It almost feels oh. unreal. It almost was unreal. It's a recycled magnesium chassis and really just so super light, clamshell. Everything that I talked about with Exxon 2 and 1, you'll be able to get with, with the Exxon Carbon. So all those, the features, the ports, the camera, the cooling, in an ultra light chassis, 2.4 pounds. It's really, really brilliant. This is also the iconic ThinkPad design, the right? Iconic I, mean, black. I, yeah. I like the fact that you know the uh, the, the track point is yeah. is on these other models, yes. but just the look, the keyboard, uh, and the keyboard is, uh, is still exactly what you know. We're ThinkPad. We don't like to change our keyboard, right. so you know the keystrokes are fantastic. Actually, is one thing I did want to talk about um, is that we did redesign the keyboard and add additional key markers on certain keys. And we worked with the North Carolina School of the Blind to help us qualify where additional markers are. You know, you always have it on F, you always have it on J, down arrow, but we added ones on your volume rockers, insert, oh, enter, function. See, yeah. And that was to help our product become more accessible for everyone, because that's what we that's what we want. And ThinkPads actually are used a lot by people who are blind because they love the keyboard. It's a comfortable keyboard. It's a reliable keyboard. They know we're not going to change it up, you know, in two years for some trend. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it the way it is. Part of our ESG goals are to meet those and to have our products be accessible. So that was something we did uh, that's going to be on X1 2 and one going to be on X1 Carbon you will likely see it on future products with us as well. That's that's great. And I know that ThinkPads are used in a lot of corporations, um, Intel yeah. included. So I, I can't wait to see uh, some of this, uh, you know, in our use and anyone else. I think these are these are fantastic. Just to recap before, the, the cooling sure. improvements yeah. that, that you showed, that applies to both this it applies model to both. and that Yeah, it one. applies to both. So you'll see that dual fan design on, on both carbon, on two and one. Yeah. So it'll be, You'll, you'll see it. Okay. This is a really sturdy chassis. I can now feel the difference yeah. Uh, yeah. between they're, the two. Yeah, they're mill spec tested. Just like, even though it's thin, even though it's light, even though that's a two-in-one. Yeah, it's got two-in-one. They are, they're going to be mill spec tested. They're going to be durable. There's, there's not a concession on ThinkPad that we take for design versus durability. And that's oh. something that's always always part of our iconic, iconic brand and ThinkPad. Well, it's going to be a great year for ThinkPad, great year for it's going to Intel be Lenovo and Intel yes. Core Ultra. Core Ultra is, was game-changing. When, when they came to us, absolutely game-changing. We're super excited about it. Now, uh, speaking of game-changing, I know there's a lineup of gaming laptops, and go yep. check that out. But, uh, Carrington, thank you so much for talking absolutely. to Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Marcus. Thank Take you. care, man. All right, we're here with Chris to check out Gaming with Legion. Chris, thanks for joining. This looks all new with uh, Intel Core 14th Gen Raptor Lake Refresh. So, Tell me all about it. Yeah, you got it. So this is our Legion 7i. As you can see, it's this dope uh, glacier white color, which I absolutely adore. Also comes in Eclipse Black, so we wanted to give it a little bit of flexibility um, in regards to color choice. The big thing for this product this year is something called Legion Cold Front Hyper. It's our advanced thermal technology that we co-developed with Intel. Basically, if you look at the side, you'll see that there's no vent uh, for exhaust. Yeah. Normally, the fans are spinning outwards and pushing air out the side. We wanted to seal that and then redirect the air inside. So it's kind of like a turbocharger on a car to maximize the air velocity and then push it out the back. Okay. In order to do that, we had to vacuum seal that chamber. So when you look at like an x-ray photo, it'd be like orange red all over the over the chassis. Now it's like this nice, beautiful blue and all of the heat is maintained here. What we're able to do with that is get about 25 watts of additional power uh, oh, when you're okay. gaming. And then also it's two decibels quieter and then also two degrees cooler. So again, just trying to think through the logic of having a product that's you know out and about, maybe you're a college student, maybe you're in a STEM program, you don't want this like loud jet engine in the classroom and then going from there and just making it a super, super seamless experience. And not only that, I mean, yep. you know, thermals are very important, um, you know, whether you're on a thin and light or even a big gaming machine like this. And ultimately, I mean, that just makes, you know, our chips, you know, run better, faster with thermal velocity boost and, you know, maintaining those uh, those clock speeds as well. I know that HX, uh, you know, for those who are adventurous, they can dabble a little bit of playing with that, you know, either overclocking or undervolting, but that's often they have that flexibility. Absolutely. And one of the really cool things is also, you see over here that we have a dedicated AI chip that we use to basically augment the system a little bit. So one of the things, obviously, we have the CPU and the GPU. We want to make sure that 
everything that's happening on screen is being tuned to get the best performance. So this is a toggle feature within our software. You can either turn it on, you can turn it off, but to make sure that we can give, for CPU intensive tasks, we can give a little bit more juice there and bump it up even further. So again, just thinking through the logic for an end user and who's gonna be in these kind of programs doing high render work, software engineering, coding, and also gaming on the side. Uh, any other call outs for the, the all new design uh, this year? Oh, absolutely. The big thing is, of course, if you look at the back, because of that thermal design, you'll see that we have three vents on the side, or on the back, rather. One of the things we heard from customers is, listen, the big ports, the gaudy ones, the HDMI cables, the power cables, keep those on the back. I want that out of sight, out of mind. But I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on the go. So of course, you want type, right. uh, type A. You want to have a mic in, both of your type Cs, and then additional SD card reader as well for content creators who want to you know, create additional you know, content on a high performance machine. Yeah, things you don't have to get up from your chair to, to plug in. If oh, it's the, the big HDMI you want just out of the back, but everything else just quick plug and unplug. Absolutely, absolutely. Like within arm's reach. Exactly. Kind of situation. Um, additionally, the panel is really, really beautiful. We have a couple different flavors for it. You can do a 3.2K resolution, 165 hertz, or you can do a QHD version with uh, 240 hertz if you want to go for eSports or more high performance gaming. Gaming gamers, lots of options. Yep. All millions, right. Millions of options. Well, super cool. Glad to see a new design with Rapid Refresh. Chris, thank you so much for talking tech. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.